Exercise 1, using DEM, or Digital Elevation Model Data in Design. This project involves a design of a drainage channel and outlet structure in Nicollet County. The DEM files were obtained from the state LIDAR dataset and then manipulated using ArcGIS. Data files for this exercise can be found in the folder labeled Exercise 1. Part 1, importing a DEM with ADF files and creating a 3D digital terrain model surface. So first what we'll do is open up Civil 3D and create a new drawing and project that we'll call Exercise 1 DEM County Drainage Structure. We'll use the AutoCAD Civil 3D Imperial template file. So we'll go File New. We'll use the template option and we'll save that as Exercise 1 DEM County Drainage Structure. Next we'll set the coordinate system. We'll do that on the Settings tab of the tool space. We'll find our drawing name at the top, select it, then right click go edit drawing settings and now under the categories we'll down drag here to the bottom of the screen finding UTM NAD 83. Once we have that selected we can down drag this and come down to UTM NAD 83 zone 15 US foot with the central meridian the 93 degrees west. So now we'll see the selected coordinate system code is populated as UTM 83-15F and we'll say OK. Next we're going to connect to the photo. This aerial photo for Nicollet County was downloaded from the MinGeo website and we're doing it this way because it allows for the photo to be part of your drawing. You can see the photo without having to have a live internet connection. So the photo was downloaded earlier and it's in the format of a .sid or SID file. You will find it in your Exercise 1 folder. So to do that, we're going to type map connect. Once you do that, you'll find the add raster image and we're going to connect to the SID file. So come over here, find the folder that we're looking for under exercise one and we'll click on connect. You'll see that it finds the SID folder. So file, click on add to map and close this window and the map should be there. We'll check that it is by typing map W space. Turn that on. We'll clear that message. Come over here and see. This is here in fact, so I'm not sure why it's not showing up. There we go. Sometimes you have to go through that twice. So in the map W space we see our file and here it is. It's the orthosid file. And we'll close that. So here's Nicollet County and the next thing that we're going to do is put the photo on a separate layer. We suggest the photo layer so that we can turn it on or off as needed. The photo actually takes quite a bit of memory space. So we'll go up here on our layers control. We'll make a new layer called photo. In order to select the photo you need to zoom out and click and drag over it. And we'll just come up here and we'll put it on the photo file, photo layer. Now when we don't need it, we can turn it off using map W space or we can freeze that layer altogether. Step four. Next we're going to bring in the point file from the data as follows. So over here on the prospector tab, we're going to right click over the word point cloud and we're going to go create point cloud. Here we can accept the default name or we could select a new one. 
let's perhaps call it just existing ground data. And we'll click on Next. Under this area here, we're going to down drag and find Esri ADF file. We'll pick that. And now we'll click on the plus sign and we'll populate it. Here I've surfed to the LiDAR course, LiDAR course files, exercise one. We'll find the DEM, which is in feet. And we'll pick all of these files. We'll open it. And then we'll click on finish. As we do this, we get this message that says the new database is being processed and it will take a while, so we'll just close it. This will be a cloud down in the lower right hand corner. And when the data uh, is done being processed and we actually have a point cloud, we'll get a message that we can zoom to extents. Now, waiting for this point file to be created, the point cloud to be created takes quite a while, even up to, let's say, five minutes. So we will take a pause here and we'll wait for that data to come through. So again, once the point cloud is created, you'll get this message here. You can click here to zoom and that'll zoom us right out to our point cloud data, which again is located in Nicollet County. Now, if I want to change the properties of the point cloud, its name, for example, it could be on the prospector tab come over here, expand that, and now I can see, this is what I called it originally, existing ground data, but I can also right click over that, go to point cloud properties, and change it to LiDAR data, if I so choose. So again, there's two places to make those changes. You can either do it uh, as you're making it, or later, say okay. Now, along the same lines, you can also right-click here and go Edit Point Cloud Style. And you can change how the display uh, looks or any of the information on it. We can also do that under Edit Point Cloud Properties, which is probably a better option. And here we specify if we want it to be elevation ranges, for example, which is really a nice way for you to be able to see what you're looking at. Or you can right click, go back into that. You can change it to single um, color, grayscale, blue, greens, etc. I'm going to leave it on elevation ranges and say OK. Now we're going to create the surface. We do that by right-clicking right over the word LiDAR data and going down to Add Points to Surface. We'll give this a name and maybe we'll call it LiDAR Data Surface and we'll say Next. We'll select all of this and just say Next. This is all fine, so we'll say Finish. This will take uh, a little bit of time. Looks like it didn't take any time there. And when we're ready, the contours will appear. So as I zoom in, we can see the contours. They become more visible as I go in further. So now you can see them quite easier.